All right, hi everybody, 1215 on this July 13th. It's dry, it's not raining, which is some good news. Okay, let's take a look at our Doppler for the first time in a while. It's showing nothing. Yes, uh, yesterday, we had a couple of showers. This morning, we had some showers pass through, some particularly heavy showers in parts of Northeast Connecticut. It just kept materializing for the Northeast corner. The quiet corner was anything but this morning. But again, we are dry. As we take a look at Kara's yacht, things are looking pretty good. <laughs> Don't I old, wish. In Old Sabre. <laughs> Does it come with Look, a captain? This is, this is mine. This is Kara's okay. right there. <laughs> Mine's the little rowboat off to the left. Yeah, mine is too. Uh, 70 degrees in Hartford right now, mostly overcast conditions. Uh, we've got calm winds, but uh, there is a gentle breeze out of the northeast, which is or the east, which is never a really favorable direction for us. It's bringing in that cool maritime flow. New Haven, good afternoon to you. Mostly overcast conditions there. Temperatures, remember, 86 is where we should be for a normal high. So that's a little bit later on this afternoon. But we're not getting there today. Mid to upper 60s, if not 70 degrees at uh, Brainerd, 70 in Meriden, 70 in New Haven. Those are some of the warmer spots, 70 in Norwich. Everybody else is in the mid to upper 60s, which is cool for July. And again, there are those winds out of the northeast, anywhere from 6 to 15 miles an hour. Sustained breeze in Bridgeport, so a little breezy there. Dew points are right up there, rivaling those temperatures. It is muggy out there. The air is saturated, and that dew point trend, once again, stays muggy, if not downright oppressive, over the course of the next several days. So get ready for some humid weather. All right, let's take a look at the temperature trend. 74, 75, maybe a 76 under mostly cloudy skies for inland Connecticut. Mostly cloudy skies for the shoreline during the day today. But you'll notice no rain in the icons, which is good news. There is expected to be a little bit of rain overnight tonight through early tomorrow morning, like between the hours of about midnight and about 4 a.m. You can see some uh, d this disturbance. It's going to be pushing in our direction. So let's take a look at early morning future cast. It's tomorrow's weather today shows just a spot little sprinkle maybe today that's about it and then watch tonight this is midnight here comes some scattered showers so maybe a thunderstorm overnight tonight through very early tomorrow morning then that winds down we are expecting a little bit of clearing and then scattered showers, uh, but a little bit of clearing in the afternoon. Scattered showers until about 10, 11 o'clock, and then some partial clearing. And then here comes uh, a little bit of trouble in the afternoon. More scattered showers and thunderstorms downplaying it here on Futurecast. But there's that likelihood that some of the storms tomorrow could be strong. And then Wednesday, as we go into Thursday, look at Thursday. Looking pretty good at this point, right? All right, so today, non-existent. The threat for severe thunderstorms is non-existent. But tomorrow, we are in the marginal risk category for receiving some stronger storms storms. That is uh, going to be uh, keeping our eye to the sky weather tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. In the meantime, today's daytime highs climb into the mid 70s, mo mainly cloudy, but mainly dry. And then overnight lows tonight, uh, humid, uncomfortable for sleeping without air conditioning. And then we're taking a look at your seven day forecast, which includes 83 tomorrow, a little bit of a warm up, 91 on Thursday, 93 on Friday. Here comes the heat and the humidity for Thursday and Friday. And then you'll notice just a little bit of a cool down unsettled for the upcoming weekend with a chance for showers and thunderstorms both Saturday and Sunday. And that continues into Monday. So kind of an unsettled weather pattern mm. Thursday and Friday looking dry at this point. So that's a look at the seven day forecast. I'll be back at the end of the show with another update. Oh.